I'm not afraid of the conviction no person should be punished because of helping in abortion and uh, we'll be more active, more visible for those who need our support. My name is Istina Wedrzyńska, I'm a Polish abortion activist. I'm all the time focused on uh, abortion. This is what I do for uh, every hour in my day. Maybe it looks crazy, but the need in Poland is uh, very big. Abortion Dream Team is a collective right now of uh, three people who actually have the abortion experience. We try to uh, destigmatize abortion in Poland, talking about abortion without any taboo, without any stigma. If there is a person who needs abortion, we really help. In March 2023, I received a sentence because of uh, helping other person uh, by giving, sharing the abortion pills with uh, by a post. Her story was, was almost the same like uh, mine was. We've been living with the violent partner. Both of us with, uh, were almost 12 weeks pregnant and we wanted to stop this pregnancy. There are two situations in Poland when uh, it's possible to get abortion in the legal system, a pregnant person life or health at risk. Uh, and the second one is the, uh, the sexual violence. Uh, this is the situation we can get legal abortion in Polish healthcare system, but in practical, it's almost impossible. In a situation, there is a person who wants to help by sharing pills, by ordering them and then passing by to a, the person in need, then the situation can have legal risk. I just uh, decided that uh, I have to share these pills because somebody have to give helping hands. We knew that, especially in the political situation we have right now in Poland, there could be some situation which can put us in legal risk. But this is not the situation we were afraid of. The biggest thing is to help every person who needs abortion access, who needs abortions. Even if it's risky for us, we will take this risk. I was uh, very angry on the whole political influence on this uh, on this sentence and what has happened in the court. My anger in some way put me to be more active in, in our work, uh, to be more uh, open, to show that uh, we are not afraid of what has happened in the court. We are not afraid of the conviction and uh, we'll be more visible for those who need our support. This is why we decided that we will be traveling uh, around the country, showing people that we are for them. We call it uh, abortion patrol. This bus is very careful and uh, it's really uh, a funny thing and uh, being in the connection with the people makes us uh, very, very happy and proud of uh, the whole work we do. We know that the change is actually happened. Polls show that the society accepts abortion on demand up to 12 weeks. And uh, in the appeal, I really wish the conviction will be turned off. But of course, the reality is that uh, the Polish jurisdiction system is uh, quite difficult. It connects uh, with the, uh, the the, the religion, uh, it connects with the patriarchy. I really don't care about other people's uh, views on, on me. People can see me as anti-family, anti-child, but uh, I'm also a mother of three. But this is not the point. The point is that people need abortions. I realize how important this work is. Like, really, really important it is. When they came to us and they hug us and they, we cry together, then, then we see that uh, sometimes it changed the whole life uh, and we have some, some small influence in this. When we uh, gave a face uh, to, um, to abortion movement, it wasn't very easy. When you, when you show your private experience, you know that uh, other people will be also in some way brave to tell that I have the same experience as you have. And I think this is the biggest success. 
that people publicly say I have had an abortion and uh, I am the same like you.